Hey guys, Brandon here, coming at you with another MLB The Show video, and today we're going to talk about roster update predictions for this Thursday, and I have a lot of people going diamond, or at least have a good chance of going diamond, I'm sure not all of them will, but I feel like I'd talk about all of them just in case anybody sees a little bit more potential in these guys than other guys. So, as usual, we're going to start in the silver category. I'm going to start with any pitchers I have in the silver. And I do have one. We've got Adrian Hauser. I think he'll have a chance to go silver. Unfortunately, he has to make it all the way to 74. But there's always a chance. Or 75. But, uh... There's always a chance he's on the rise for sure, but I didn't want to put him in the, on the rise because those are for better players, I think. So him being 6-5 and five with a 3.62 ERA is, I'd say, a decent, decent. I mean, he's on the Brewers, so if Bellinger, or, oh goodness. <sighs> if Yelich isn't hitting home runs, then they're losing probably. So six and five with a three point six two ERA. Obviously not the best. He's not going diamond, but I do think he has a chance to go silver. And for the next dude, I'm out of pitchers already. I don't really know how to judge pitchers all that well, so I can't really tell who's going and who's not with pitcher wise. So we got Kevin Newman. Kevin Newman being two away right now. He has a three oh three average with seven home runs. I think he hasn't played that many games. I'm not sure if he's played a whole lot or not, but a 303 average, seven home runs, it's not bad for sure. So I think that should be enough to get him to silver. Then we have Wilmer Flores, who is one away. He has a 316 average with six home runs. So if that last dude had seven home runs with terrible power, and this dude's got six home runs and his power's pretty decent, there might be a hit to his power, but with a 316 average, I don't think they can bring him down a whole lot since he's silver or he's bronze anyway. So I feel like he can make it to silver within one point. Next we have our gold players. I have a couple pitchers here. This one I'm almost sure is going to go to uh, gold, but we'll see. We have Taylor Rogers. He's 20 for 26 on save opportunities with a 2.51 ERA. So the ERA doesn't quite reflect the save opportunities. Obviously it does if they're only up one run. But that's a difficult thing about being a closing pitcher compared to a starting pitcher. You can give up three runs as a starting pitcher and win. If you're a closing pitcher and you're in, and that would be a save opportunity blown right there. So... I think Taylor Rogers, one away from being gold, will make it there. Not entirely sure. Then we got our boy Ryan Yarborough. He is two away as a starting pitcher. He's 11 and three with a 3.29 ERA. So he's got a pretty decent ERA for a gold, and he's 11 and three, so he should have the stats to make it to gold. I don't see why he wouldn't make it. Next we got. Adam Eaton, not that guy, that guy. This guy confused me because he was in a White Sox jersey making an Adam Eaton catch, it looks like. But obviously wrong hand. Besides that, Adam Eaton hitting 291 with 12 home runs. Maybe 12 home runs reflects his power right now. Maybe it doesn't, so maybe they give him a little bit of an upgrade in power. And he's also hitting, you know, 291. So that's not a bad for a guy who's... You know, mediocre all around. I think they could give him a little bit of an upgrade to get three points to gold. And then we got everybody's favorite person. We have Bo Bichette, who is four away currently. But since he's hitting 351 with eight home runs, I don't see why he can't be in gold since they just started Vlad Jr. in gold. Bo Bichette, more than deserving of being a gold right now, I think. So next we have diamonds so for the first diamond I don't have any pitchers in my actual diamonds I have one that might go on the rise but for the first one I have Michael Brantley 
who is two away, so it'll be a little bit difficult of a jump, but we'll see. He's hitting 338 with 19 home runs, so very good is what he's hitting. And, you know, 19 home runs, he could get a boost to the power. Obviously, I don't know the splits on it, but I'm thinking he can go. Next, we have Justin Turner, who went down from Diamond this year, who's hitting 294 with 24 home runs. Based off his hitting stats, I think he could go. Obviously, they're not going to upgrade fielding and speed, so I'm not sure where he lies with those anyway. But based off power and average, I think he can get a little bit of an upgrade. It might not be the diamond, but it could be the diamond. You never know. Then we've got his brother over here. we got Trey Turner. Trey Turner, super fast already. Mediocre fielding. Hitting 294 with 24 home runs. Uh, that was Justin Turner stats. I said 24 home runs. That's crazy. So he's hitting 300 or 13 home runs. So still pretty good compared to his power, and he's hitting better for average 300. So for a guy that isn't really based off his hitting stats, I think he could go diamond. I would do think he'll get an upgrade, whether or not it's diamond or not. Then we have the second to last person in this actual category. We have Cattell Marte, who's also two away. And he's got a 321 average with 27 home runs. And he's got pretty good hitting already. But if there's something that's going to get him there, it's going to be his hitting as well. So Cattell Marte, I think, has a good chance of getting diamond or at least an upgrade. Don't know if that'll be 84 or 85, but there's a chance. And then I do have a thought that Anthony Rizzo will go back to Diamond. Obviously, I don't know how he's hitting against lefties, but with a 290 average, 25 home runs, I think there's a chance that he'll get boosted. And that makes that it for our Diamonds. So, we got to go to our On the Rise people. I have Cattell Marte's brother, Starling Marte. We have a 289 average with 22 home runs. So I think his hitting will get the boost he needs, and he should be a diamond. But I've been saying this, that he's been the on-the-rise player for me for a while. So I feel like it's only right to keep him in the on-the-rise category because I don't know if I picked him up when I was when he was 82 overall, but I was telling you guys he's going to go diamond, and I think this one he actually will. So besides him, we have our boy Shane Bieber, who is one away as well. He's got a 12 and 6 record with a 3.23 ERA. You know, it's now or never for Shane Bieber if he can get there. Obviously, it's not his best card on the market, but it's obviously it'll be a lot cheaper if you guys pick it up now. So, if you guys did enjoy the video, that'll be the end of it. And if you did enjoy, consider subscribing. Anybody else you guys think will move up anywhere, let me know, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.